before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram so if we look together at the visa policy of Sri Lanka just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and it will show you the visa policy of uh, Sri Lanka is a visa policy map and as you can see almost all the countries of the world except a few countries can travel to uh, Sri Lanka by applying for electronic visa uh, before arrival and this electronic visa will allow you to stay in Sri Lanka for 30 days and you can also uh, renew it once you are in Sri Lanka so to apply for the electronic visa of Sri Lanka just click over this link over here eta.gov.lk slash sl visa slash and once you click over it this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website from where you can apply for the electronic visa for sri lanka so let's see together how can you apply for visa for sri lanka using this website just check uh click over the language that you want to use i choose here english and here they're giving me some regulations i will then after that i'll choose apply and by clicking apply this page will appear in front of you i will say i agree and okay okay you'll have to submit application review information payment option eta confirmation then i will choose that i am applying as an individual for tourist purposes and now this is a visa application form i have to fill all my details in this application form so let's fill it together surname family name surname title mr date of birth for example this date gender nationality let's say i am indian fully vaccinated yes country of birth india occupation not mandatory but it, it's good to write it passport number passport issue date it will be the following date oh, i'm sorry passport expiry date it will be the following date and child information in burnt passport enable no surname family name okay i'm not filling it okay travel information departure from i'm traveling from india visa required days 30 days intended date of arrival let's say october in the first i like number one Burs purpose of visit visiting friends i want to choose participating okay holidaying okay address city street country india email address telephone number mobile number and fax number okay and declaration do you have valid residence visa to sri lanka no are you currently in sri lanka no do you have multiple entry visa to sri lanka no i would like to confirm the above information then click next okay there is a part that i need to fill okay address okay then click next ha oh, line number one then choose next okay this is to review your information review all your information in this section and if you feel it is the correct information confirm 
yes I'm sure and in here you will have to select your payment option I'll choose to pay using Visa card or credit card and now I'm directed to the payment session okay you can you use Visa or credit or credit card just write the name of the card the card number expiry the CVC and after you write all this information you will have to submit it and once you submit it you will receive a confirmation email at your email and uh, your visa uh, request will be processed and once processed you will receive uh, the travel permit or uh, the visa through your email the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamp pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you are a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of, of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy 
Sports application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another.